Hello Audacious Church, wherever you are, whichever campus, it's great to be with you today and we're continuing on this theme this week of breakthrough and prayer. We've been meeting 7am, 7pm every day, just really digging into prayer as we start this brand new year. Now I really truly believe that God is a God of breakthrough and I believe that he can break through in any situation and circumstance in your life. Often when I think back to my own life and the times of breakthrough that I've experienced, it's most of the time come at the point of most resistance, at the point where I felt like I cannot do anymore, I just need God to do what only he can do. Which reminds me of the scripture in 2 Corinthians 12 when it says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. How many of you would like God's power to be made perfect in your weakness this year? To see his power break through and move in your life. There's a, a passage of scripture in 2 Samuel 5 verse 20. And it's David, it's about David and it says this, So David went to Baal Perazim and defeated the Philistines there. The Lord did it, David exclaimed. He burst through my enemies like a raging flood. So he named that place Baal Perazim, which means the Lord who bursts through. I love this account as it teaches, teaches us that we, when we can't do it, God can if you think about raging water or a flood as some translations put it you think about those images that you've seen or even when you've been down to the sea and you see raging water it is powerful it is able to move any obstacle out of the way and that is a picture that i want you to have of the breakthrough that god can can provide in your life but there's three things that i believe that we play our part in to see God's breakthrough in our lives. So are you ready? The first one is faithful steps. Faithful steps. You simply have to take a step of faith. James 5, 17 to 18 says, in, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds and I will show you my faith by my deeds. In other words, if you're saying you have faith but you're doing nothing in your life, you're not taking any steps forward, you're not putting anything into practice, then you've got to question the fact how, how, how is your faith able to do anything? See, when I first started learning this adventure of faith, in the area of kind of provision and miracles, it was about 21 and I'm a lot older than that now. But I felt that I should go to Australia for Bible college and I'd had this idea, this God idea, this encounter. But it wasn't until I kind of resigned from my job that I started to take a faithful step forward in what I felt like God was saying, that I began to see the, the provision and the miracles. I began to see finance coming to my account, which I had no idea where it would come from. People were so generous. I then got the visa that I needed to go to Australia within an hour of submitting the application. You see, the miracles and the provision and the breakthrough came when I took a faithful steps it all starts with a step of faith and over the last kind of 20 years or so I've been able to see God's faithful provision and miracles but it all starts with a step with a faithful step of faith the second thing is faithful obedience Tithing is a simple act, but a constant test of obedience. Each time we receive our salaries, we're faced with a decision to either walk in faithful obedience or not. Isaiah 66 verse 2 says, Has not my hand made all these things, and so they came into being, declares the Lord. These are the ones I look on with favour, those who are humble and contrite in spirit and who tremble at my word. During the times of lockdowns with COVID, Johnny was told that his salary was going to have to be cut, but we made a decision to keep going in faithful obedience with our tithing, not cutting our tithe, but actually continuing to tithe in the same way. 
and over the period of a few months we then got a tax return which actually matched the exact amount that Johnny had been cut from his salary. See God is faithful in his provision of miracles and breakthrough when we are faithful in obedience. The third thing is faithful trust. It says in Proverbs 3 verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Easy to say, isn't it? It's easy to say, lean on, lean not on your own understanding. But the issue of trust is always a heart issue. I think the question I always have to ask myself in every situation is how much of my heart is trusting the Lord right now? When I was about 22, living in Australia, I was at a big youth alive rally and they were taking up an offering. And I felt that I should give the, the last $10 that I had in my pocket. I was a student, I wasn't really earning much money and this $10 was worth a lot to me and I felt like I should give it. It was a, it was a lesson of faithful trust. And as I put that $10 in the offering, I didn't know where I was gonna get you know, money to last for the rest of that week. But two days later, someone came up to me in church and said, I just really feel like God is asking me to give you this $50. Well, I was absolutely amazed. So God is faithful in his provision and, and miracles. And we are faithful in trust when we put him first. Fast forward 17 years later and we were asked to move to Cardiff and that faithful trust that I've put into practice time and time again when it came to our children. Could God provide a school place for both children in the same school? Even though that wasn't easy, I knew that God could do it and he did. How much of your heart is trusting the Lord today? See, the, the miracles of provision are not always financial. It can be many different things, but we have to take a step of faith. We have to be obedient to his word and, and be faithful in the trust that we have of the Lord. So be encouraged. He is the same God today, yesterday and forever. If he's done it for me, he can do it for you. And I would love for testimonies and praise reports and stories to come through our church this year. As we exclaim, as David did in 2 Samuel verse 5, the Lord did it. Have an amazing, amazing day and I'll see you soon.